Hey, what you got there? Oh, I uh, I just got the new Apple Watch. You've got one too, yeah? Uh, no. Uh, Wise Watch. Oh, I uh, I've never heard of it. Um, the new Apple Watch has a 44 millimeter screen. Nice. 47 millimeters. Well, this has a two-day battery life. Nine days. Well, my Apple Watch can track my sleep, my heart rate, and my steps. Can your Wise Watch do that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it can. Well, this just cost me $399. Cool. Well, I mean, no, you don't want it. No, 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 seriously, go ahead, tell me. 20 bucks. What's up, Superhumans, BT here. If you are new to this channel, if this is one of the first videos of mine that you are seeing, you've stumbled upon, well, thank you so much and welcome. I am stoked to have you. I like to create content that's gonna help you move, feel, and perform better, both mentally and physically. So if you're into that sort of thing, if that sort of thing floats your boat, you know, consider hitting that subscribe button. You should do it. Recently, I introduced you to this. This is the Wise Watch uh, from a brand called Wise, who make amazing budget things. All right, so budget light bulbs, budget security cameras, and now a watch. And I took a poll on Instagram and YouTube, and I asked you, Hey, do you want me to do a comparison between the Wise Watch and the Apple Watch? To which I got a resounding yes. So today, I want to focus on the three major key differences between the Wise Watch and the Apple Watch. I think with any piece of technology, it's meant to better your life. Whether that's through, like solving a problem or making a task easier or just being more uh, like really enjoyable to use just through like its user interface and with the wise watch you can eh, like kind of say that it does those things like it kind of ticks off each of those boxes but with the Apple watch you absolutely can say that w what do I mean well for example Apple watch has Siri now yes Siri has tons of faults. There are many times where I can ask her for help and all I get are crickets. Uh, Siri is not available right now. Check back in a minute. That's super freaking frustrating. But Siri can definitely do some cool things. She can answer a ton of questions like, hey Siri, what's the weather going to be like this week? Here's the forecast for this week. And now she's just giving me for the forecast for the next seven days. Monday's supposed to be 46 degrees with snow. Here's the weather for this week. And because I have four other Apple products, you're probably gonna get Siri from the iPad, you're gonna get it from my phone that's in my pocket, and now you just got it off of the computer behind me. Oh, that's so much fun. So she gets me the weather, she can also answer other random questions. Hey Siri, who is the number one team in the Western Conference? The Jazz are in first place in the Western Conference. Go Jazz. Another nice feature is that she can get directions for you, which is really cool. Hey Siri, I need directions to Harmon so I can grab some groceries. Now I've got directions to Harmon's. And if I needed to send a text message, Hey Siri, can you text Melissa Urban? Hey babe, I'm headed to Harmon's. Do you need anything? And then she sends it, which is freaking sweet. As my wife can attest, I forget things from time to time. And the other day when I was in Harmon's, I forgot not only my wallet, but also my phone. And I had a bunch of stuff already in the checkout counter. Well, thank goodness they had Apple Pay. I just held up my watch to the Apple Pay thing and it paid for it because you can store credit cards and a bunch of other things on a wallet uh, on your wrist, which is amazing. You can also purchase the Apple Watch with a cellular service. So you can essentially just leave your phone at home if you wanted to, let's say, go to the gym and you could still make calls, send text messages and listen to music on your wrist. And to me, that's like James Bond shit and pretty cool. Not to mention, if you've got any problem at all, there are like a bajillion apps on the App Store that you can download and put right on the Apple Watch. Problem solved. So, like the Apple Watch, the Wise Watch can send you notifications. However, 
it is very limited. There are only a few apps that are supported by Wise. On this, text messages worked, Instagram worked, and that was about it. Everything else came with a notification from other. You see that, how it just says others? I'm not really sure where that's coming from. There is no Siri. You're not getting directions on here. There's no GPS. You're not playing music from here or sending text messages or having text messages messages read back to you because there is no speaker. With the Apple Watch, if I ask for directions and I'm not using my phone, the different haptics will actually let me know whether to go straight, turn left, or turn right. No such luck uh, with haptics on this. Again, you can't get directions, but there's only one blunt haptic. There's no like variance. You can receive text messages on here but you can't respond. So all of this stuff that you're getting notifications for, you're gonna have to pull out your phone and use your phone anyway to talk on there. And when it comes to apps, like I said, there are so many apps for the Apple Watch, things that will just help you make everyday life and functions easier. There are, including the settings, there are 10 app slash widgets. So you have one to start a workout, you have one to read your calories and uh, your activity, your steps. You've got a pulse oximeter, a heart rate monitor, a sleep uh, tracking. You can set an alarm. There are timers, shortcuts. I have yet to really figure that out yet. Those shortcuts, I believe, are to the Waze ecosystem. So if I have like Waze cameras, or the Waze car, or whatever, I can actually trigger those types of uh, devices from my watch, which is pretty cool. There is a weather app and then your settings. Another thing that makes the Apple Watch just so, again, convenient and functional are the complications, that's what they're called. There are these little widgets up in the corner that allow you to do maybe tasks that take a couple of swipes like just instantly. So they take the mundane, tedious things and allow you to do them very quickly. So on my watch face right now, I've got workouts in the top left-hand corner. So I just touch that and it starts a workout. I've got my weather in the top right-hand corner. I can see my air quality, wind speed, and the forecast for the whole week. I've got a calculator in the bottom left-hand corner, and I've got my music selection on my bottom right-hand corner. Now what's cool about this is not only can you change the watch face on an Apple Watch, like you can select a different watch face and then totally customize the color and like the different fonts and everything like that. You can get pretty in-depth, but you can also change the complications and then save that to the watch face. So if I want something that's very workout oriented, I can have it. If I want something that's very business oriented and maybe has more business and like financial based complications, or maybe even a hiking one that's got like barometer, temperature and maps, GPS, that sort of thing. I can save all of those and just bring up the different watch face the next time I'm doing one of those activities. You've got 10 different watch faces with the Wise Watch and four different color options of each. Every single watch face kind of has a very like retro theme to it and I'm down for that, but there are no complications and there is no way to add uh, watch faces to the Wise Watch, whether you're on the watch or using the app. 10 total, that's it. You can store up to three different watch faces right on the watch for instant like changes. If not, it's gonna take about a minute for a new watch face to be selected and uploaded from your from your phone. I'm pointing to my phone because it's it's over there. As I said earlier, technology, no matter the feature set, no matter the cost, if it gets in your way, if it's inconvenient, it makes your life worse, you're not gonna use it. It's really cool. And I do firmly believe with it, a massively improved battery life and a few tweaks to its algorithm, the Apple Watch could hands down be the best like fitness tracker or smartwatch out there. I will typically get 30 hours to a charge. That's normal use, me running one workout a day, doing normal activities. This thing will die in 30 hours. So last Monday, I got the Wise Watch. It was at 52%. I charged it to 100. It only took about 15 minutes to do that. And it lasted nine and a half days. Even though the Wise Watch can't, can't do like a, a tenth of what 
the Apple Watch can because it doesn't get in my way and I'm not constantly charging it. Like I grabbed this way more than I grabbed my Apple Watch. Now the last and probably most startling difference between the two is the cost. The Apple Watch for the latest uh, version, the Series 6, starts at $399 and can quickly escalate from there. Whereas the Wise Watch was 20 bucks. This is 20 times cheaper than an Apple Watch. I could break this thing, purchase another one for less money than just the Apple Care on the Apple Watch. Those, I think, are the three major differences that will probably contribute to you making a purchasing decision. For 20 bucks, this thing will do just about everything you could possibly need it to do. And again, I think that's because even though this has so much, it offers so much, are you really using it? Finally, you're probably wondering like, dude, this is a fitness channel. You didn't cover the fitness aspect at all. I know. That's because it's gonna be on the next video. Like, the fitness between both of these, that gap is so much smaller than I originally thought it was gonna be. And I think it deserves its own video. So stay tuned for part two of my Wise versus Apple Watch comparison. To make sure you're notified of that video, make sure you hit the notification bell down below. That way you'll be sent a message and notification letting you know that I posted that. Listen, if you like the video, please, please hit the like button. I can't tell you how far it goes. Yes, not only to let me know what kind of videos and content you wanna see more of. You're like, no, I like that guy. I like what he's doing. Hit the like button. But beyond that, it actually makes this video so much easier to find on the YouTube search engine. And that thing is ginormous, so please do that. Also, this isn't a huge deal, but I, I try not to get caught up in analytics. And the other day, I was getting caught up in the analytics. And I saw that 97% of you aren't subscribed. So I would love it if you would subscribe. I think that's it. I know this one was kind of quick, but I thought uh, quick was probably pretty good. I don't want to take 20 minutes of your day. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.